Hey guys, I just wanted to do a really quick summer of 2020 update on my EDC system. Um, I get asked about this a little bit. I did a uh, EDC video a while back, but I figured it was time to update. Guys, I'm a minimalist. I like to keep things simple. So for my flash, and I'm taking this stuff off my person as I'm talking about it. This is stuff that I actually carry every day. And of course, we got some uh, visual uh, stimulation here on the bench to kind of break up the monotony, but uh, my light, I carry the Stylus Pro. This is an orange one. I've had this for about a year now. Um, before that, I carried one of the um, Pro 1AA's. I love that light. It is a little bit shorter than this one. Um, however, I do think that that light, the uh, 1AA or Pro 1AA is... it. For everyday use, it has got a lot of lumens. And if you're in tight corners, it can actually blind you, or it does me. I've got really sensitive eyes. This one here is just a, it's a 100 lumen. Uh, it requires two AAA batteries. And I mean, it's it's pretty lightweight, guys. It doesn't weigh much. Um, I can even give you a, a weight on it. But I've had this for, um, I guess, maybe right at possibly a year. And I've only had to replace the batteries once. And I use um, the uh, Energizer Lithiums. I don't know if they're any better than anything else, but they kind of make me happy when I bought them. But the um, weight, let's get a weight here. Let's see. So 1.7 ounces, 1.8 ounces. So that's that's not bad. And I mean, I, I don't even know I have it. I carry it in my front left pocket all the way down at the... Um, and I'll show you here, get a uh, visual, show you how I carry this, but I carry it just in my pocket, just like that. And that way I can still access the pocket for my keys or my phone or whatever else kind of junk I got in there. And then it's really easy to take out anytime you need it as well. So that's my, that's my light. Um, now, of course, my knife, I wonder if anybody could even remotely guess which knife I carry every day. Bam. It is still the Kershaw Select Fire, guys. <laughs> this, this knife here is going on two and a half years of use, and that is because my original Select Fire broke. The uh, pocket clip, if you guys remember in my review video of this knife, the screws go into this polymer. I wish they would raise the price of the knife maybe two or three dollars and put these screws into that steel insert. It would make this a lot more rigid and probably a lot uh, lot longer lasting. You can see this one's starting to get loose now too. See that? So I can tighten these screws and snug them up a little bit, but this polymer is going to eventually strip out too. But um, about two and a half years of use and it is still going strong. This does have the uh, 8CR 13 MOV steel in the blade. I've sharp, I sharpen it regularly. This is an EDC blade at its finest because I use it all the time. But the cool thing about the select fire, as you guys know, it has got an inboard multi-tool. Um, it's got onboard blades or bits, Phillips and standard. And you can switch these out. You could put like a, maybe a Torx 25 or something common, you know, that maybe you guys use. Uh, it does have a bottle opener, a rudimentary measuring device. I don't know if that's really anything to really write home about, but could use it, I guess. But I carry this every single day. This thing has gotten me out of so many binds. It's not even funny, guys. Um, it really pairs up well with the, uh, the Streamlight. I just, it's just a system that has just worked for me. I, um, uh, I'm kind of in love with it. I'm a fanboy. I'm not going to lie. Now, for the piece de resistance, my EDC firearm is Glock 26, guys. I still carry the 26. This is a Gen 5 model. This is coming right out of use, so it is hot. This is a bra deck inside the waistband holster. And as you can see, standard Glock 5 or Glock 26 Gen 5. Got the uh, factory magazine, and I think I'm running Golden Sabers in this. And like I said, it is hot, so it is coming out of system. I love this gun. It is so easy to carry. The weight is a little bit hefty. It is a double stack. Um, but I've carried a Glock 26 for so long that I don't even... 
it, it doesn't really phase me anymore. It's kind of one of those things that you, you get so used to, you don't even really think about it anymore. I just, I just always have it. It's, um, I've tried to get myself to carry the 43 and I always go back to this just because my magazines fit all my other nine millimeter Glocks. But, um, I'm not going to say that I wouldn't carry something else. I do occasionally carry a, um, the Glock 22 just for, just for, uh, gigs, but, um, 99.9% .9 of the time, if you catch me out town, say, hide what you got on you. It's these three items. They, um, got me out of so many binds with the, the little Streamlight Stylus Pro and the uh, Cursaw Select Fire. Praise the Lord, I've never had to uh, deploy this in any type of EDC use other than just carry. But um, that's it. Summer 2020, guys, there is my EDC update. This is what I have on me 99.9% .9 of the time. If you guys like this content, feel free to Give me a shout below, post up in the comments, like and subscribe, share this video as it really does help. And as always, shoot straight. Later.